Today's a very exciting day. We are here at Winsport and we are here to talk about Fast and Female. Can you explain to me as well as the people of Calgary what Fast and Female is and how it got started? Yeah, totally. So Fast and Female is a registered charity. Our mission is to keep girls healthy and active in sport. It's founded in 2005 by Olympic gold medalist Chandra Crawford. It's just really exciting to see how much Fast and Female has grown over the past 15 years. We've had so many more events. We've broadened out to way more types of sports. It started just as cross-country skiing in Canmore. We have sports from Summer Olympics, Winter Olympics, non-Olympic sports, ambassadors of all shapes, sizes, and backgrounds all across North America. So we've had huge growth, and we are thrilled to be here and empower girls. And so many girls too. Look at them all coming out of the hall. You guys reach all different kinds of girls from all different kinds of ages. What ages are they? So for the event today, there's girls here from age eight to 18. The eight to 14 year olds are all in groups with their ambassador by age. And then the 15 to 18 year olds are our leaders in training for the day. So they'll be paired with an ambassador who's taking a mentorship role with them to give some of those older girls a bit more responsibility and experience in a leadership role. So we're really excited about that. Excited to have 300 smiling girls here. 40 awesome ambassadors, a whole crew of volunteers making the day run smoothly. What makes Fast and Female unique from other charitable organizations? So Fast and Female is super lucky to have a super solid crew of 700 strong, powerful female ambassadors from across North America. We have role modeling, which is unique to Fast and Female. We call it the real role modeling program, so that's relatable, empowered athletic leaders. So that's what we're looking for. You don't have to be an Olympic medalist to be part of the program. If you connect well with girls, we want you in our program. So if this sounds appealing to you, please apply on our website. As well, Fast and Female is currently working on some research partnerships with University of Ottawa and University of Toronto, getting those results in the spring to really get that evidence-based programming happening. And that'll also set us apart from other charities, really make it that research-based programming so we know we're coming from a strong foundation. A lot of people see your organization, they think of fast female Olympic athletes, but that's not necessarily the case. A lot of different women and people that are involved in sport and work with girls are involved in your guys' organization as ambassadors and as volunteers, which I think is really cool. Exactly, that's a big focus for us. We value all of our ambassadors. At one of our events in Calgary last year, there was a full lineup of Olympic medalists in the ambassadors at the event that day. And the ambassador that got the biggest cheer of the crowd was the firefighter. All the girls were losing it to see a strong female firefighter and see that that's a possibility. So we just want strong women who connect well with the girls. We're very lucky to have so many. With Fast and Females mandate being about empowering girls through sport, what kind of events do you guys host throughout the year? We have a few different types. Our most common event is our Champ Chat. That's a three to four hour day. It mixes physical activity stations, with local fitness leaders, which is super awesome. We love to make those local partners wherever an event is. We also have a curriculum piece in the Champ Chat as well, where girls can go through either a leadership module or a power posing, and then there's lots of face time with the ambassadors and their girls to have kind of smaller group chats. So those are our Champ Chats. And then we also have Power Hour, which is a little bit of a condensed version of the event. We call that the Fast and Female Appetizer. It's a uh, a little bit shorter, it's just the curriculum piece. Depending on the age group of the girls, again, it'll be either that power posing module or the leadership, and that's done in two hours or less. We have the Summit, which is currently a Calgary-specific event. And another special to this area is the Girls Run, which is in partnership with the Rocky Mountain Soap Co. Women's Run. It happens late May. It's a two-day event. We have a Fast and Female event Saturday and Sunday with a little running race for the girls, non-competitive can run out either to 500 meters or 2K, do a little run, come back with the group and do some cool down. We did kickboxing as a group this year. That was That's fun. That's super fun to combine. You know, we have a lot because it's a women's running race that weekend. We have a lot of moms who come to do the race and then bring their daughter for Fast and Female, so that's really cool. We can have custom events with a partner. So in the spring in Ottawa, we had an event with the Ottawa Sport and Entertainment Group Foundation. We had a huge event there with 600 girls 
Boston, girls from all over Ottawa schools, so those custom events are an option as well. What are some challenges that Fast and Female faces as an organization? A big challenge is keeping the charity running. We need funding from donors, so if you believe in our mission and you think this programming is important to help girls, please consider donating on our website so we can host events like this. The reason we exist and what we're trying to target in our programming is just the idea that girls are way more likely, two times more likely than boys to drop out of sport for many reasons, certain misconceptions that it, you know they don't feel social belonging, they struggle with body image. Programs aren't as available for girls from either from a cost perspective or from a socio-cultural perspective. So really trying to break down those barriers and also empower girls to realize they don't have to look a certain way or act a certain way to be involved in sports. How can families and people that want to be part of Fast and Female get in contact and involved? Absolutely. So if you're interested in hosting an event or looking to register and you're not sure what events are coming up, you can look on our website. We just got a beautiful new website that you should go check out, www.fastandfemale.com. That'll have an events page with everything that's coming up. If you have any questions you want to email us, it's just info at fastandfemale.com and then follow us on social media at Fast and Female. So Morgan, why should people get involved with Fast and Female? Our programs really give girls opportunities to feel comfortable in their own skin, be proud of who they are. Sport is the vehicle, it's not the end goal. We're not trying to develop Olympic champions here, we're trying to use sport to give girls life skills and confidence and ideally build relationships. I mean, I'm here working at Fast and Female today in 2019, but I met Chandra our CEO as a participant at an event 12 years ago and we've built that relationship through my attending events. She's been a great role model for me. So that's an example of how really connecting those girls to our ambassadors can give them a positive role model of living a healthy life, get them fired up about wanting to do sports because it doesn't just help them in sports, you know, it can help them in their academic life, in their social life, getting that confidence to reach out to new people, making friends, feeling empowered to try something new and not be self-conscious. It's really those outcomes of sport that we want to see, the positive outcomes.